Hey, hey, hey. I'm Ryan with Rhino Gaming. Welcome back to another video. And this time, guys, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'm really feeling this one. I actually spent like the last like hour changing stuff, adding stuff, taking stuff away. And I think the more I'm messing with it, the more I, I hate it more. <laughs> so, uh, as you can see, um, this one's pretty tall, and the idea of this one is I was trying to do like a, a penthouse vibe. I tried to do like more upscale inside. I threw down a lot of cement uh, flooring, and stuff like that. Used a lot of uh, refined wood walls and stuff, and you know I looking. I, you will see it in daytime, but. Looking at it, I don't know if I'm a big fan of the outer walls being refined wood. Maybe just because I'm, I'm looking at it too much, and I think the cement, or I'm sorry, the, uh, the, the refined wood mixed with the stone on the outside. I don't know. Not really liking it. But, you know, is what it is. Uh, figuring, you know, I put a lot of effort into it, so I might as well make a video. And, uh, I don't know, maybe you guys will like it. You know, leave me a comment, see what you think. I'm totally open to critiques, you know, like, if it looks like shit, please tell me. You know, something that makes it look goofy, makes it look bad, you know, or maybe you like it, you know, to each their own at that point. So, definitely appreciate co appreciate your comments. You know, send a like down and, uh, see where we go. God, why is there always a wolf? Just being an asshole in my video. Ugh. Let's see, let's see. Okay, two seconds, two seconds. A little tip, people. If you ever get attacked at night, before you start uh, going ham on these guys, drop a light. See where you're at, so you're not just like, you know, scramble around in the dark with your knife. It's like, uh, you know, hacking away at nothing. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I was thinking of making a video soon about like little tips and tricks. Uh, you know, if like you're new to the game, like maybe some things people haven't thought about that I've noticed along my uh, pathway throughout Icarus. Uh, so look out for that sometime soon. Okay. So again, like always, we got our generator room a good bit away from the main house, the main structure. And uh, yeah, you know, it's to help avoid listening to that motor going the whole time. Okay, here we go. I tried to challenge myself with this one, uh, trying to put it pretty tall, not so much like, obviously it's not just a giant box, but multiple, multiple levels, and also it expands out in some areas, to, uh, and so I was trying to use cement and a lot of stone on this one, so I was trying to work on, st uh, structure support, like, you know, working with the, the pillars, some stabilization techniques, but it also ultimately just kind of came down to throwing down some stone. Um, whoa. What up, man? Chowing down there, huh? Yeah. All good. All good. Uh oh. Hey, man. Back off, bro. So I thought about making, um, or, sorry, it ultimately just came down to uh, making those big blocks. I can't remember what they're called. Uh, but yeah. Don't make me pop off this guy. I'll do it, man. I'll fucking do it. That's right. <laughs> Alright. Nice little stair stairway. Alright, so like I said, a lot of cement. And I like, I like the cement with the glass look. So like it is kind of penthouse looking, so on this first floor, I guess you can say, right around and got my workshop. So like my last builds had it was more like a little wooden country vibe, cabin vibe. This time I tried to go more like upscale, like I said, like using cement, using the refi refined wood walls, using the iron cupboards instead of the wooden ones. I don't know. As close as I can get to what Batman would have, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> None too big. 
on the uh, the workshop. Uh, yeah. Loving the plant look. Threw a couple of uh, trophies up. All right. So we're going to cement stairs. It's kind of like a bunch of hallways. In the middle part. Not so much anything in the middle part besides the uh, the trophy bench. And then out here, just kind of through like a little, I don't know, patio, I don't know, I don't know, just a view area, you know, if you want to step outside for a bit, it's a good view at daytime, you'll see it soon. Yeah, so it's kind of like a little roundabout, right back out. Okay. So going up, goes up to the main living area. Again, just giving you a good view of kind of what it's like at night time. I love the cement with the glass look. Didn't go with the loft idea this time. It's kind of like a big open space. Like I like again, I'm trying to go like penthouse. So a lot of open space, living area, living room. Walks right into the kitchen. I think a penthouse. I'm thinking a big kitchen area. If any of you rich guys out there, and you let me know if this is kind of close to what you guys have. Again with the lights. Clean up the the wiring. Make that stuff invisible. When it gets daylight, I'll show you the top, kind of where the, the wiring mostly is. Just keeping it out of sight, out of mind, right? Love that nighttime fireplace. Very homey. Homey feel. All right, around the corner, so we're in the bedroom. Again, not too big of a bedroom. Um, Try to use whatever, again, I'm using refined wood a lot, mostly in a lot of things. Just for looks. A little curtain right to the outside garden. Just want to get a little space for uh, obviously crops that you need mostly pumpkins, squash, carrots, and uh, watermelons. And again, I'm going to keep reiter reiterating on this. If you want to do big builds like this, invest a lot of time, always have a ladder to the roof. Don't let it burn all down. And then again, I got the uh, rain reservoir right here. Don't have to go all the way down to the lake to get water. And all right, this is the house at nighttime. Let's go uh, wake everybody up. Need some food, my belly. Boom. All right, it's a nice view to wake up to in the morning, eh? One thing I hate about the glass, I know it like clears up like midday, but like I think they overdid it the fog. I think they probably dimmed that out a little bit. I don't know. I guess it gets better over time, but I'd like to see it make it more clearer, you know? All right. Love that sun beaming in. All about the views in my build. Like, I have a nice view of the whole land. I love with the, the, how the light sets in. Like, I, I'd imagine, like, architects when they're building uh, structures and houses. 
They try to get good lighting, you know. A lot of natural lighting really brings out the place. the stone walls and roofs would kind of match like this like I don't like that dark gray I wish it like match this or something it looks kind of bluish I don't know, maybe just be my screen I don't know yeah let's know what you think like so I got the the cement flooring with the refined wood walls and then I guess with the stone roof I only do the stone roofs because storms and thunder it's always annoying having to keep uh, uh, repairing a little garden I figured a penthouse would have like a little garden up somewhere <laughs> Let's see if we get a good view. See, like this fog. I, need, I, need, I wish they could go away. A lovely uh, waterfall way in the distance. Oh, a little uh, area check where I'm at currently. Right here. Corner of C3. Uh, I, I picked this area because... Uh, if you guys have watched my other videos, I describe a uh, a website you can go to that these uh, I think it's uh, Icarus. Oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> I can't remember it. Ah, uh, I'll have to come back and get that. I'll put it in the description. Uh, but the website they have the uh, fully made map of the entire map of Icarus with uh, all the cave locations and uh, where I'm at was a, uh, a cave with a rank of a star, so fully, fully uh, decked out with minerals and ores. I'll actually show you real quick. We're gonna work our way down. Again, it's little hallways. It's beautiful at daytime. And again, the uh, little uh, uh, patio walkway. You just can't beat that view, right? Hopefully you guys are watching at the high high def. Makes it all worth it. Funny thing is you can cap off animals from even this far. Yeet. Oh damn. Oh god. Oh, I think that was his ass. I thought it was his head. No wonder it went headshot. Let's see. What do you think? What do you think? Yeet. Oh, I'm so good. See. That's how you know you play this game too much. Third time's a charm. E yeah. Oh, yeah, one more try, one more try. Do it for the home team. Yay! Yeah. Or you can just, you know. Bye! The guns are so OP in this game. <laughs> the Buffalo's like, man, what the hell? <laughs> What'd I do to you? <laughs> Alright. Going down. I guess you call this the mezzanine. Mezzanine? Is that what the middle of the floor is? I don't know. Let me know. Another workshop. I was thinking about doing like the walk, the tours, kind of like in a third person, but I don't know if you get a, as good as view. Of, I mean, I guess you do kind of get an overview of it, of it, all the look, but I don't know. I mean, what you think? Do you prefer like the to tour first person or third person? You get an idea more of the life size.
Alright. This is pretty much the house. I don't know. I don't know how I was feeling it. If you guys like it, uh, you know, let me know. Appreciate any likes. Feel free to subscribe. I try to do each build during a mission. I don't. I don't do the outpost because I figure if I do the outpost, I might spend way too much time on it because you know you have no time limit, nothing really affecting it. I try to do each build during a mission, so it, it make it kind of motivates me or. I guess I'm obligated to have to do a new build every single time, obviously, because this disappears after I leave. So, I don't know. Yeah, so tell me what you think. The cement flooring with the refined wood. I mean, I kind of like it. I don't know, maybe I'm just being too critical of myself. Yeah, like a little penthouse, condo. Yeah. Alright. Just gonna show you. I think there's a bug in this cave. Because, uh, you know, when you go into a cave, you have the cave effect and everything. And it, I don't think this one. Has, I don't know if it was supposed to or not, but this one doesn't have it. I think it is a bug because even being inside the cave, if I tried to set up a. Uh, a. Um, like a smelter, it, it would show that I'm not in cover, not in shelter. So I actually had to build this little thing inside the cave for it to work. So I think it is a bug. But yeah, this this cave had just a bunch of uh, ores and stuff. So I know it's time, you know, consuming to uh, build bigger builds and like upgrade and tech into tiers, but you know, if you try, if you use the map uh, to help find level three caves, you know, level star caves, you get a bunch of bunch of resources really quick. Like I knock most of my builds out in probably two to three days, so it's not that hard. You just kind of know how to get resources quick, different techniques, and obviously where to go. But yeah. That's about it. I'm going to go finish up this uh, mission and get out of here and move on to the next one. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. Again, I'm Ryan, Rhino Gaming. And I uh, hope you have a good one. We'll see you in the next uh, video. And again, with the awkward ending. <laughs> see ya.